Hello, I'm Naoya Matsumoto. I come from Japan. I studied uh, architecture and urban planning in Kyoto University uh, uh, for my undergraduate. And for my master's, I went to Peking University and studied urban planning there. So the reason why I started studying at Peking University is because of an experience, an internship experience uh, at the government of Indonesia, the Ministry of Public Works. This was an ODA project that was funded by Japan. And there were many Japanese companies, Indonesian companies forming JVs uh, to construct a highway in one of their biggest uh, trade ports. And through this experience, I learned that you really have to be informed of the urban context, the, the context of uh, the city, uh, whether it be cultural or economic, you really have to understand uh, how urban planning is taking place uh, in that certain city. However, not many people in the expertise of um, urban planning actually study, go study abroad. So I felt that this was uh, in a way kind of like an obligation for me to go and study overseas. So for my undergraduate thesis, I researched about uh, post-disaster urban reconstruction. In 2011, the Tohoku earthquake occurred, and this was about three years after the earthquake. In Japan, there was an issue that there were only 5% of the restoration houses that were completed. And, but then when I was looking through uh, articles, I found out that after the 2008 Sichuan earthquake, almost 100% of the houses, the restoration houses, were completed. And this really intrigued me into looking forward uh, why China was uh, able to accomplish this. So my findings were that uh, for, for the case in China, uh, the restoration policies were actually uh, pretty much in alignment with the pre-existing urban and rural integration policies, part of a development plan. So they were able to push this forward easier than uh, the case for Japan. So a lot of people in Japan ask me, why do you study in China? And I answer, there's actually quite a lot we can learn from each other. Uh, in Japan, many people think that, you know, because China is a developing country, there is not much that we can learn, especially in the field of sciences. I learned that this was not true. In my master's thesis, uh, my topic was about urban conservation. And um, for example, in the case of Kyoto, a lot of the traditional houses, the residential houses in the central areas are not protected well. So the central Kyoto area is basically very commercial and there are many uh, high rise buildings. On the other side, in Beijing, uh, although this is at a very different scale, traditional houses, the hutongs, are protected in a very plainer way. Conservation policies are stricter in the central areas, kind of the reverse of Kyoto. I felt that there are many places, may it be post-disaster restoration uh, or conservation, or in many other fields that um, Japan still has a lot to learn from these uh, other countries. So this personal experience uh, formed my ideology of mutual learning. And I think this way of thinking uh, is becoming increasingly important in the world of globalization. Mm -hmm.